How's it going everybody? Welcome back to New Mexico State Men's Basketball News. I'm Marshall. In today's video, we're going to be talking about some players who have been offered to play in New Mexico State. Both high schoolers, both young high schoolers, still technically they're just juniors right now. They'll be graduating in 2026, which is when I'm going to be graduating college. Um, so, what? Well, assuming everything goes right, I'll be graduating college on time. In May 2026 with my major in journalism and a minor in sports marketing. That's going to be a double major with both. That'd be super cool if I can do that. Maybe that takes some summer classes or something. We'll see how it all goes with that. Um, so assuming I'm not a student by the time those guys get here, um, I'll still be supporting the team. I'm going to be an Aggie fan for life for all sports. Um, obviously, I became an Aggie fan when I first got here two years ago. I'm going to continue being an Aggie fan. There's a Aggie Lobo game this week for football, a big rivalry game. And there's, you know, so many old fans that have been, you know, watching this rivalry for like 50 plus years. And so I want to get to the point where I can be like that. Before we get into those guys, I want to talk a little bit about the team currently. Um, they just started practice pretty recently. How do I know that? Because I saw the team post it. And Adam Young, who keeps up with them a lot, he's a great commentator for the Aggies for many years. And he's con he, I think he's still um, is a commentator for the WAC. Um, has done it for us, Conference USA, for the Aggies and stuff. He's usually doing it for every game, unless our game's on TV, on CBS or something, it'll be those guys. But Adam Young is a great commentator for all our sports, not just basketball. Um, but he was able to go to the practice today. It was their day two. They were practicing at their practice court, which I've seen in person, really nice. You guys should, well, I wouldn't say go check it out because you guys can't really go check it out if you're on the team. I've seen it personally because um, I, went away, I went to go interview Coach Hooden um, a little over a year ago. And I got to see it. It was really nice seeing it in person, seeing it on you know videos online a bunch. But seeing it in person was awesome. Really, really nice. Obviously not as nice as you know the main court, you know the Pan American Center that where they play their games, but still a super nice practice court. And I think they practice on both. Their first practice though was actually at Oregon Mountain High School, which used to be on Yate High School. And if you're in a Las Cruces native, want to hear your guys's um, you know opinions on that about the school change. I know they changed their name from Yate to Oregon Mountain. I can't remember exactly what it was. You guys might have to remind me too. Um, but there was a big controversial about it, apparently, you know, back in 2021, I think. That's where Johnny McCants went to play high school basketball. And I met a dude yesterday named Josh. I was playing basketball at the Activity Center. Plays professional basketball in Ecuador. He knows a lot of guys that I love watching, like uh, KJ Allen, Jarrell uh, Sidersfield, who's actually from Cruces as well. Um, so he's able to tell me a little bit about those guys and said that um, if he's ever hooping with, you know, one of them and they're in Cruces, that he'll invite me to a run. So it was super cool. But yeah, I just thought it was kind of weird that they were practicing at that school. Uh, I think Johnny McCants went there too. I don't know if I mentioned that already. Sorry if I did. Um, I lose track sometimes. Um, but that was their first practice. I don't know why they practice at the high school, but that's kind of cool. Maybe they practice in front of the team to kind of show them what it's like at the Division One level. I remember whenever I was in high school, my senior year, we had the eighth graders come watch us because they were just going to be in high school the next year. Um, and they watched us practice. And um, I was getting buckets. I had to show off for those kids. You know what I mean? And those guys are like juniors now. going to be seniors next year. Just like the guys that we're going to be talking about in this video. I want to let you guys know before we do dive into it, I don't know a whole lot about these guys because they're still in high school. Wasn't able to find a whole bunch of stats, um, but they are both four-star recruits, which is awesome. Marcus McGee is 15 years old, and he's already offered to play in New Mexico State. He's probably turning 16 pretty soon. He just started his junior year, like I said, hoping he can have a great last couple years of high school, be rooting for the guy. Hopefully he makes the decision to commit to New Mexico State. Not sure what other offers he has, but I think both of those guys had pretty good offers. Um, from other good schools. I believe the other player we're talking about later on has some power four offers. Not sure if Mason does. I want to say he has more like lower level. Um, and New Mexico State is one of the higher ones he has, I believe. So maybe he'll make that decision. Obviously, he still had a lot of time to think about it. I know guys who have made decisions to um, commit to their college, their junior year, senior year, or the wait till it's all done. So it definitely could happen whenever. He's a six one point guard, plays for some you know really good teams, really good um, AAU teams. Obviously a good high school player. I believe he's been playing varsity since he was a freshman. I could be wrong on that. I was trying to find the information I could, um, but couldn't find much because he's still a young guy. But he's playing in a lot of um, you know camps, top leagues, and all that. Um, there's this one. I don't know where it's at. There's this one court in Arizona. I always see it's like a red and gray court. I can't really describe it. There's been so many great players who have played there. And I've seen so many highlights from it. Uh, I think Julian Newman's played there. Um, some just top high school athletes, I think my, Mikey Williams, Bronny James, and all that. And I believe he played there as well. Mason McGee. I saw a picture and it looked just like that. I think it was the same one I posted on my social media accounts. Al Tariq Reby is the other guy that I got offered from New Mexico State out of the class of 2026. He's six foot ten. He's a six foot ten junior in high school. I think he's like 16 or 17, which is pretty insane to think about. Um, he's from Burlington, New Jersey. Uh, plays for Hillcrest Prep. Um, he's a really solid player, really solid big man. Uh, has a good, you know, has a soft touch in the paint and all that. Knows what he's doing. He's obviously good enough to get Division One offers. Again, hopefully he decides to commit to the Aggies. Um, Coach Hooden has been wanting to improve on his big man. That's something he did this year. That's something he always looks forward to. Um, he always seems to get a lot of great guards, but wants to, you know, up the strength with his big men. Um, obviously, get some strong big men um, that can, you know, 
you know, be quick in the paint, um, dominate on the boards, just, you know, have high effort on defense all the time. And I feel like um, Reeby's a guy that fits that description pretty well. Another thing I want to talk about just regarding the team this year in general as well, um, there's a lot of high hopes. I know I've been saying that in the videos, but more and more I've been hearing from, you know, guys like Adam Young or even assistant coaches like Shun Buchanan, Terry Ante Thomas. Seeing those guys on campus, seeing those guys in interviews, and maybe I can get them in a video too would be super cool. Um, they're saying that there's loads of talent on this roster. Guys like Deontay Boss, Exotic Jackson, and then Peter, they're all going to be really solid, solid players for us, solid new transfers. Um, and hopefully Christian Cook, Jaden Harris, Robert Carpenter, and then big guy Chris. Um, especially, you know, Robert, um, Jaden, and Christian Cook, since those three actually played last year. Big guy Chris obviously got hurt. Um, and, you know, hopefully he can still see the floor for us and do some solid things. But, you know, the three guys that got minutes last year that started in most games, hopefully those guys can still come back. I don't, I don't think they're all going to start. I'm assuming Christian Cook probably will. Um, I saw Jaden at the house yesterday. He seemed like he was in a great mood. I didn't realize it was their first day of practice until after the fact. Um, but he also seemed like in a great mood and ready to win. Um, like I said, I always predicted about 18 and 19 wins, but I could always see them getting more than that. Um, I'd be surprised if they get less, um, and hopefully that's not the case, especially with football not being as great. I want our basketball team to bounce back and be good again. Um, it's kind of funny because these past two years, the football team's been good, basketball team hasn't, so it's been kind of cursed because it's always been the opposite. Basketball's always been good and football's been bad. Now that football's kind of struggling, we're hoping that basketball can carry the load. Um, but again, hopefully the Aggies football, uh, Aggie football team can get the win this week. Have some friends on the team. They're pretty confident, so we'll see how it all goes. When I was looking at the schedule, I'd say best case scenario is 23 wins. Uh, that's if like everything goes right. That's if we beat UNM. Uh, that's if we get maybe a win against one of those bigger boys schools that we play like UNLV or Dayton. Um, but we'll see how it all goes. And maybe if we like get, you know, a really high seed in Conference USA, we can get like a top seed. Um, there's also other really great teams in Conference USA. Um, I feel like Conference USA has always been better than the WAC, except for last year. But now the Conference USA is getting a little bit stronger and the WAC's kind of dying in a way. So be kind of interested to see um, how those two battle. Maybe I'll make a video on that, kind of discussing both conferences. Um, Cause obviously it has to do with New Mexico State or old conference, new conference. Not a whole lot other to talk about. I just want to jump on here and just, you know, update you guys a little bit. Um, give you guys another little weekly vid. Super tired. Got some exams. Been been crazy. Four of my classes, I'm pretty sure I'll get A's in. The only one I'm not too sure about is my literature class. I think I'm gonna. I have right now. I, oh, actually, I don't know what I have right now. He hasn't put all the grades. That's the only class I could see myself getting a B in. But I'll make sure to at least get a B. Hopefully, get an A if I can. Want to try to get that 4.0 GPA. That'd be awesome. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know again it wasn't a whole bunch, but I just wanted to update you guys on some of the new guys that have been recruited to play at NMSU. Even though I don't know much about them, I don't think a lot of people know much about them because again they're still in high school, still doing their things, still they haven't even you know they're barely halfway done with school. Um, but time does fly fast, so expect to see those guys um, playing college basketball soon within the next couple years, whether it's for the Aggies or another team or another program. Hopefully it is the Aggies, and I'm looking forward to a great season. Tip off is in 41 days, 34 days until their first exhibition game which doesn't count obviously but it'll still be great to see them in action um and you know we're not gonna see the aggies best basketball until probably you know november december um but we are i'm so stupid december january november this when the season starts you want to be playing your best basketball by the time conference starts hopefully we're you know great by then can start off conference strong we were able to start off three and no five and one, five and three in conference three and one at one point start off conference with a win which is great because the year prior didn't get a conference win until i think it was like late january or february early early february um what was it it was january 31st or february no it was january 31st i think it was a wednesday because they switched that game i remember um where you start off conference 0 and 9 so um hopefully we don't start conference off this year like that you know hopefully we can start off we did with last year but finish off strong we start off, start off five and three hopefully you can finish off strong just like we started i believe with robert coming back too it's going to give us a lot of great chances um because again last year if he would have played the whole rest of conference, the second half of conference would have been a lot different, I think. Would have had a higher seed, probably would have got a third seed, honestly, because of how close the standings were. We were seven and nine, got sixth. And Western Kentucky was third with a eight and eight record. And that's who we played. Who knows, if we get two extra wins with Robert in the lineup, we're going to get the third seed, face a different team, have a better chance to go farther in the Conference USA tournament. You just never know what can happen. All you gotta do is win your tournament and you're into that NCAA tournament, which a lot of guys are hopeful for. That'd be awesome if we could see it. I just wanna see it happen at least one of these years that I'm here, and I think it's definitely possible. Um, I think this year's team will at least have a winning record. And I think for sure by next year, it will be a um, NCAA contending team. I saw somebody, who was it? I don't even know who it was. It was some account ranking all the teams. And we were like 100, was it between 120 and 160, I think, on most of them is what I saw. Hopefully we can prove those guys wrong in the top 64, top 68. 
to get into that um, NCAA tournament. Even if we're like one of those um, first four teams where it may be, if you get in, you get in. I believe Mississippi State was a first four team, not this past March Madness, but the year prior. So Chris Jansen has been seeing a lot of success. And Coach Hooten's a guy that I can, you know, see kind of relate to that. Um, he's never been in March Madness, I believe, though. So, you know, if he does it with the Aggies, that would be his first time doing it. And it would um, make his decision to come to Mexico State to coach that much better. Um, that's all I have to say. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm out.